Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Timster. Today I'm going to be going over part one in the Project Assets tutorial series. So this is basically going to be a tutorial series on creating the assets that I used in my Project FPS game. So in this tutorial we'll be going over how to create level of detail for lights. So basically what this is, is when we press play we have some lights that spawn around us and then as we get further away the lights despawn and get removed and then when we get closer again then they respawn in. Now this is especially useful uh, just for optimizing your game in general but also if you have lots and lots of sort of light sources within your scene as this can get a bit overwhelming for Blender itself so if you start spawning them in accordingly then it becomes a bit more manageable. Let's go ahead and get started. So first of all file new, open up a new blend file and then in here what I'm going to do is press X, delete, shift A add a plane and S to scale. So this here is going to be my floor then Blender Game Engine, GeoSL, animation frame rate of 60 and first of all what I'm going to do is I will add my first light source so just for this example I'm just going to use uh, basic shapes so this is going to be light source 1 and this is going to be my lamp here so let's go over to game logic move it across and then we can go into texture view and this lamp here I'm going to give it let's say a blue color and we'll move it over here so this is where I want my lamp to spawn and if we select our icosphere here we can make it smooth alright and I'm happy with that so now what I'm going to do is add myself a cone this could be a lamp on the top or something I'm also going to select this lamp here press shift D to duplicate GX and we want to move it underneath the cone here so maybe for this one we can have a orange color alright something like that then I'm gonna add one more thing so shift A and let's just add ourselves in maybe a monkey move it over here alright and on this monkey here I'm gonna press shift S cursor to selected shift A add ourselves a lamp and this color can be maybe green alright so let's make it a yellow green like so and so this here let's say just put it on the top so once you've got your whole scene set up and you've got all your lamps exactly where you want them to be select the first one shift S cursor to selected shift A add ourselves an empty and this here we're gonna call ICO lamp as an icosphere lamp and then what I'm gonna do is select the next one shift S cursor to selected shift A add another one so this empty can be called uh, let's just say cone lamp and then let's select the last one here shift S cursor to selected shift A and this here can be monkey lamp alright so now what we want to do is select each one select the lamp hold down shift select the empty control P and parent and do that for all of them so select the lamp hold down shift select the empty control P and parent select the last lamp here hold down shift select the empty control P and parent alright so now we have those three set up the other lamps we're going to spawn in but now what we need is a spawn point for these lamps to spawn in so select the first one the empty this time shift S cursor to selected shift A add ourselves another empty but this time let's choose a cube and this here we can put ICO lamp spawn alright and then let's do the same over here shift S cursor to selected and then shift A add ourselves a cube and there's going to be a cone lamp spawn and then do it for the last one shift S cursor to selected shift A add a cube and then monkey lamp spawn alright so we have all three done now what we're going to do is we will select the lamp on the inside hold down shift select the empty and then press M and move to layer 2 so we only want the square here to stay so basically select everything on the inside and then M and move to layer 2 alright and M and move to layer 2 now we won't have any light at all so let's press shift S cursor to center and add ourselves a hemi 
Now this won't have any level of detail, usually hemis you just keep in the scene and they're just in the background. So let's just give it a bluish color like this, fairly low energy. Alright, so now we have all of that set up. Now what we want to do is select our empty here and add a near. And this is going to be 30 and 30. Again, you can adjust these to suit for you. And when it's near, let's say the property player. And on a tap, then we're going to add an edit object. And we want to add the ICO lamp. So ICO lamp. All right, so that one done. Move on to the next one. Add a near player. And 30 and 30 again. Then on a tap, and this time we want the cone lamp. This one here. All right, we got those set in. Then do it for the last one here. So let's go over here, add a near 30 and 30, and then player. All right, and add an object, join the two together, and oops. And in here we want the monkey lamp. All right, cool. So we have that sorted out. Now tap as well. So now what we have to do is we need a player for our empties here to detect. So let's press Shift A, add ourselves a cube, and uh, let's just press number at seven. We want to move it under the camera roughly. So let's just put it here. Select the camera, Alt R, R X ninety, and then move it across like so, and then hold down Shift and parent it to the cube. Alright, and this here just needs to be an actor. It doesn't even need to be dynamic. And so now what we can do is we can add a keyboard to move away. So that's going to be negative Y. Let's make it negative 0.5. Oh, negative 0.5. And then we'll also have a key for going forwards again, like last time. So Z, join the two together. And. 0.5 this time. So also on my camera here, I'm going to actually move it back and we will go under the camera settings and choose 25 for the focal length. Now also on our cube here, we need the property. So let's put player and then move it across like so. So now if we press P, we have all our lamps spawned in. Now what we want to do is when our player moves away, we want these lamps to despawn. So what we have to do is, on the lamps, we have to remove them individually. So this here is going to be near, inverted, and it's going to be checking for player, 30 and 30. So if it's not near, then it will just remove itself. So edit object, or end object. Now on these, make sure you select the empty, not the lamp, to do it on. So 30 and 30, and then again, player. Edit object, uh, tap and invert, and in here, and object. Alright, last one over here. Near, 30 and 30. Invert, tap, player, and then end object. Okay, so now if we press numpad zero and scroll in a bit, oh, texture view, press P, then we have all our laps spawned in, move away and they despawn, we move closer and they respawn in. Now in the original game I did have an empty which I parented all the lamps to and then just spawned in that one empty. However, after redoing it and retrialing it, I noticed that only one of the lamps gets spawned in every time. So instead of just all three being spawned in like you just saw then, maybe only this one would go. It was pretty random which lamp gets sort of spawned in. So that was the problem with that method, it only spawned in one lamp at a time. So I found the sort of easiest way to do that is just to spawn them in individually like so. Now also a second thing that does not work is if you go ahead and spawn in the lamps by themselves. Basically what that will do is again only spawn in one of the lamps that you're trying to spawn in. 
uh, which doesn't always work very well. So for some weird reason, if you go ahead and parent them to an empty, then it just recognizes it as an object and it's happy to just add it in. Cool, so there you go guys, that's the end of this tutorial. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to leave a like, comment, or share down below. All of that stuff is greatly appreciated. If you enjoy these tutorials and want to stay updated for the next ones, then feel free to subscribe as well. Now if your one didn't work, there is a finished version down in the description below, but again, that's up to you. But apart from that, hope you guys enjoyed the video, have an awesome week, and I'll see you guys in the next one.